What is going on guys? Happy Friday. Gotta love Fridays. Um, so today's video, I think I'm going to do more decals on the K10. Um, depending on how long this video takes, um, I might do some night crawling with it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let me get some stuff around and we will get started. All right, guys. So here we go. We'll put that in there. Get it nice and wet. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> So I don't know where all you guys are from, but I'm over here in West Michigan and I work for Clearbrook Landscaping. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm in the hardscape. I do a lot of the hardscape, so like paver patios and stuff and retaining walls and all that. But today was kind of a messy day because it was raining all day. And it's been raining almost all week, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, it's been a nasty, wet mess of a week. Uh, not very fun for working outside when it's like that. But um, yeah. It was a good time. We uh, were working out in South Haven all week this week. So, uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's in the type of like soil, if you want to call it soil, that we've been working in is just not very fun to work in when it's all wet. Um, it's that clay kind of nasty soil. Um, when it's dry, it's super stinking hard. And when it's wet, it's nothing but slime, and it's just not fun to work with. Um, I lost one of my decals, guys. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, I found it. Can't lose that one. But yeah, it was just a sloppy, wet mess. But we got the job done, so it's all good. Something I forgot to do on the other side is what the place where I'm gonna put it. These decals are so awesome, like what they are of. So stinking sweet. Uh oh. Just gotta kind of fit them in around all the other decals. I think that looks good. Bam. End up there upside down. Come on, flip over. Now that I've been doing a couple of these decals, they're really not all that bad. Um, it just kind of stinks that you gotta wait for them to dry all the time. But uh, yeah, get this thing on there. Oops. 
come on now. Shoot. Now it's starting to fall off. This one does not want to cooperate. There we go. Okay. identical to the other side but definitely looks good this guys I believe we need to pay more attention to you see what that says we are definitely lacking that in our society these days it's just unreal um, yeah I'm a pretty religious person and we are definitely lacking the spirit of Christ in our government. It's just so retarded. You can judge me however you want to judge. I'm a firm believer so I'm not, not going to be shy about it either. It's what America was supposed to be built after. I mean. Come on now, one nation under God. Definitely think we need more of the spirit. I should have cut all these out before I started. So anyway, um, I will be posting videos. I'm gonna try to get them through next week. But for the following week, I am going to be out of town. We are going to be going to Alaska. Yes, and we fly out next Friday morning at 4 a.m. So while you guys are watching next week Friday's video, I will be probably on a plane or I will be in Alaska. And I will be there for 10 days, I believe. Fly out Friday and we get back, not that Sunday, but the following Sunday. I think the 31st. I think we actually come back on Halloween, guys. Isn't that freaking crazy? <laughs> Hopefully nothing goes wrong. <laughs> oh, man. I think these guys, these decals, I think are going to be the last ones I put on. Um, there's a few other ones over here that I'm thinking about putting on, but I haven't decided yet, so... Yeah. Shazam. So I looked up USA One's, like, m one of his first uh, trucks that he ever made. The original one, I don't think, was even white. But his first white one he made was like this. And uh, I found it kind of cool because on that truck, it actually opens just like this. <laughs> the whole body he has on some kind of hydraulic, kind of like the top fuel funny cars. And it literally just hinges up just like that. It is so stinking sweet. And I was like, oh, that is so fitting. so awesome I got two more decals here I want to put on but I can't remember where they go so that's gonna be interesting I'm gonna have to look that up and then I haven't decided if I want to put this shovel let one on the back it's more like what he has on his truck um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to put that on or not. Still deciding. 
because this decal that I have on here is kind of not sticking very well. But we'll see. Do do. screw up on me. So yeah, we are flying into, actually I can't remember where we fly into, I believe we're flying into Anchorage and we have to drive up to Fairbanks. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's not too horrible. Um, yeah, so we're going to do a bunch of uh, sightseeing, some hiking, might even do some snowboarding. Um, we're actually going to a dog sled like s training like school so and they're gonna take us out on the on the dog sleds and stuff so that's gonna be pretty stinking sweet BAM Check it out, guys. Doesn't that look stinking sweet? Oh, I bumped that one. Shoot. I probably did that when I was lifting up the body. Luckily, I can still move them around. Problem. Solved. Bam. There we go, guys. Check it out. That's so cool. I love it. So stinking sweet. I'm still trying to figure out a way to get the chrome to come across here. Um, somebody suggested I use some kind of tape or something and, and color it and then stick it on, which I might do. Um, so yeah, or I might order the decal set for the Bronco from Panda Hobbies because it has a chrome strip on it and I might use that. So yeah, definitely. So yeah, um, I'm going to pause a second while I figure out where these last two decals go and I will be right back. All right, guys. So. I could not find out where these go. Um, I think it's just an option if I want to put smaller ones on. So what I did find is it gets two more decals right up on the box side, right next to the roll bar. And that, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of blurry. Um, that is what it says. It says, pray for our troops. They protect our freedom. So yeah, I'm going to put them on. And then she shall be done. Drop that in there. Just like that. It nice and wet. <laughs> and, oops, dropped it. Come on. Dang it. Butter fingers. Just gonna have to use my fingers. I 
just gotta get it straight. You can probably see it from there, right there. Bam. So it says in the instructions on these decals to have it 68 to 70 degree, 72 degree water. Um, I really don't think it matters, just as long as it's. I don't know, lukewarm room room temperature water basically um i don't think it'll hurt it if it's i don't i honestly don't know if it, it would hurt the decal if it's like ice cold or if it's super hot um just room temperature water i think is pretty good oh man these ones are so small they're so stinking hard to get. And we need a blue on top. I'm surprised I can even read that decal. Bam. Just like that. So there it is, guys. Boom. <laughs> Pretty stinking sweet. Love it. And that is going to wrap it up for this video and this build. Um, obviously, you guys know me by now. I still tinker and I improve. I might end up changing these back out to the, the other ones I had on there from the beginning. Um, I just kind of like these classic looking wheels. So... But yeah, so that is it for this build. Um, don't think I'm going to do any crawling. Uh, maybe I'll do that for uh, Saturday's video. And then I have yet another project that I've started. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll... Uh, tell you guys what that is and then uh still working on some more parts for the deadbolt aka enduro 24 build i'm working on i'm going to be ordering some axles for that so yeah stay tuned as always hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified and we will see you later take it easy guys